the thing is, uh, if, if you adopt, a, adopt a, a competitive mindset, if your motivation in life is driven to be top of the class rather than to really understand your subject or socially to, to, to dominate the conversation rather than to enjoy the conversation, if you, if you adopt comparative goals, that makes you, your mental well-being extremely vulnerable. Why? Why? Because there's always someone smarter than you, always someone better looking than you, always someone stronger than you, in a globalized world in particular. And so to the extent, to the extent that you, had, your, you or your child or your family member has this um, comparative mindset, they will be rendering themselves vulnerable emotionally, but also intellectually, because they've done brain imaging of students um, who, who have comparative versus uh, intrinsic um, motivations. Uh, intrinsic meaning you, you want to understand, you do it for your own, your own goals, essentially. You set your own goals for your, and, make, and make, your own, make, you, make your own metric of your success, which, of course, gives you a mini winner effect when you achieve your goal anyway, even though it's not comparative. Um, but the, 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 the students who have the comparative wanting to be top dog all the time, when they are told that they have made an error or failed an item in a test, their brain goes into a kind of meltdown and there's a big, big activity in the um, amygdala, emotion processing center of the brain. And the, the frontal lobes change their behavior because they're, what they're doing is trying to process this threat to their ego. And what they're not, and the hippocampus, the memory center, is not operating to learn from this, to say, oh, I wonder why I failed. And so their whole capacity to learn from failure is totally impaired. Uh, so that's why, and that's similar for people with a fixed versus a change mindset. 